Stockpile Hobbies. Welcome back to Stockpile Hobbies, everyone. My name is Steve, and today we're going to be going over uh, what our super fan Jeff Burton sent us. He, I traded all my lifelike cards that I made from a video a couple of weeks ago for this lot here of bodies and chassis that Jeff sent me, including these cool decals. Um, I'm going to be repairing uh, uh, one of our flamethrower cars before I sell it to get fix the light bulb. I'm going to be replacing the incandescent light bulb on it. And then basically looking at the lot of bodies I have, figuring out what the race teams might be. All of these chassis need one type of repair in some form or another. So I'm going to start getting uh, cracking on those as well. But first, I want to hop in here and check out the, the cool lot that Jeff sent us. So going back to that video from a couple weeks ago, I had about seven lifelike bodies and chassis that I offered up for trade or purchase. Jeff hit me up again. Uh, he, said he let me pick what I wanted from a collection of things he had. And uh, this is what I came up with. But he also threw in these cool uh, decals, which I think we can make uh, utilize some of these on some of our race teams that we're going to be making with the rest of the, the lot over here of things we got to do. Uh, first up, we have a broken uh, narrow pan Tyco 440 chassis. Missing one of the spring clips in the front. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to use this or the, the bulk heads with it, but uh, I might just hang on to that these for now. But I do have a, uh, he sent a, a wide pan chassis. Uh, this is awesome because I do have one that is broken over here. Right here, see how that's hot glued together? Um, so I'm going to transfer all the components off of this chassis onto this one. So that's, we'll do that in this video. But, let's take a look at the, the car that's selected here. Uh, first up, we have a uh, Turbo Firebird 80s Trans Am. It's got a wide pan chassis on it. I had Jeff take off all the tires on all the, the cars. I took all the tires off the lifelike car, so I'm going to put them back on here. And I told him to do the same, so we weren't uh, wasting our rubber. But, um, seems like it's in pretty good condition. I don't see anything wrong. It's got the white wheels on it. That is cool. So that's a good combo there. I do need a um, windshield for this car, though. Next up is the STP43 car. Um, it is cracked. Um, I'm going to try and glue this. I'm going to run some super glue on here, and I'm going to try and do a little bit of filler here with the glue, too, and see if I can fill that gap in and sand it down. And then uh, we'll paint this one up. But looking at the chassis again, another wide pan car. Uh, seems like it's in fairly good condition. Shoes don't look that bad, and good uh, articulation as well. Uh, next car, oh, the, the Chrome Corvette. So I had just painted one of these. I had one before. Uh, I had some, uh, like, I would call it I don't, a blemish, but this one is pristine. Enzo loved this body. I'm not going to paint this body. It's going to stay the way it is, I think. That's a good, awesome example of one. Uh, it has the glass in it. It has the windshield in it. Uh, the chassis looks good. It's got an incandescent bulb. We're going to scrap that. We'll throw an LED on it. Uh, chassis looks like it's in excellent condition. Um, I think I'm going to maybe paint the wheels a different color than, than the gray. And uh, we'll get this light up. And this one will go right on top here and uh, be ready for use. Moving on, we have a Bandit Trans Am. I have a ton of these. Uh, this one is in excellent condition. Glass looks good. Uh, the light piping looks good. Paint looks good. Uh, might be better than the one I have over there. Um, let's see. Uh, I think mine's got a little more gold in it on the bird. So uh, I think I'm going to customize this one. We'll see. I think that's something to do with it. Make it a member of one of the race teams. Uh, another excellent example of a chassis. Got a little bit of wear on the shoes. I think these are the Night Glow tires as well. So this might be good for one of the, the Nike Glow cars. Um, I don't know if I'll paint this. this might, these might look good actually on this uh, Firebird that has Nike Glow paint on it that I did. So I think I may pair that up with the Nike Glow rims. I think that's a good idea. Next up we have a custom painted, uh, I don't know if it's, it's not tan. It's like a silver color. It's kind of cool. It's got this cool blue uh, sticker on it too for the Firebird. Uh, I'm digging it. It's got some decals on the back. I'm not going to touch this one. It looks, I like the way it is. I think it's a great one-off for the collection we have. The chassis has got some paint on it as well. Um, I'm probably going to swap out the rims and tires if I can. Uh, the chassis looks fine. I don't care if it's painted. No one's going to see it. And uh, good. Awesome. Another great car for us to, uh, to use. Uh, we have another Firebird, a white one this time. Uh, doesn't look too bad. It actually, looks in, it's in great condition. 
Uh, for the wheels, it's got night glow in the front, uh, white rims in the back. Uh, looks good. I believe Jeff said all these cars do run, so it should be good to go. Uh, springs feel good. Good pin. And last but not least, we have our number 43 Dale Earnhardt car. Uh, looks like it's a great stock body on it. Uh, again, mixed match of uh, wheels on it. But uh, overall, it looks good. I'm really impressed with uh, the shoes on all these cars. They look great. Uh, I'll get in there. I'll clean the comms on them. We'll oil them up. But these are all going to be turned into a race team. I told Jeff I was going to dedicate the race team to him. So this will be uh, uh, his own special race team that we're going to do. I think we're going to do silver and blue, uh, his favorite colors. Uh, I didn't want to do uh, blue as the primary color, so we're going to do silver this time. And we'll do some blue accents, some striping, uh, spoilers, trim pieces. Uh, I think that's going to look really sharp. I, blue is, is also one of Enzo's favorite colors too, so I think it's going to work really cool. I want to ask that if you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. If you're coming back and watching these videos and you have not subscribed, please hit that red subscribe button. Hit the Unicron button down there, the circle down at the bottom corner of the video. It really helps the channel out. It helps us grow and helps to keep making this great content for you all. Moving on now, let's take a look here. Really quickly, I know that this lifelike car, the bulb, came unsoldered. We're going to solder that really quick right now, get that going. So you can find all the tools that I use in the, the links in my description. It goes to my Amazon affiliate account. Uh, you help the channel out if you buy anything using those links. So I'm just going to add a little flux to the, the side of the, the brush canister here. And with that, I'm going to put a dab of solder onto the tip of my soldering iron. There we go. There it is. I think that's fixed. Let's test it out on the dyno. Let's see if we get any light. There we go. Back in action. Great. I just have to get two lifelike bodies that have white piping in them for uh, the two cars that we have. So let's do the flamethrower cars next. I want to replace the incandescent bulbs here. I'm going to replace it with another incandescent bulb as well. These are so long. But they solder these underneath the shoe springs here. So I got to get the shoes up and I got to do this without losing the spring which I am notoriously bad at doing. So you can see here underneath where they do the soldering. Um, they use a ton. It's a glob. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to unsolder this wire from the, the sod, from the joint here. But And to do that, I'm going to use the soldering bulb here. Uh, the idea is you squeeze it, you he, he, put it near it, heat up the solder, and then suck in the solder into the bulb to get it off the, the joint here. And then when I re-solder it, I'm going to try and use as, as little as possible so that the shoe can come fully down and let the front tire sit on the track. There we go. Got the wire free. I think we're good. Maybe we'll pull the, the one side through. There it goes. Got it. I'm really surprised when they soldered this that they didn't just go right to the hole here and solder the, the wire to the hole. They came down and did it on the, the part of the extension here that goes over to the, the spring cup. Um, kind of weird. You hear I got some solder in there? That looks pretty good. Alright. So, let's take a look at that bulb here. It's uh, pretty blown out. Yeah. So, because I'm going to sell this, I want to try and make it look, uh, put it back to original condition with an incandescent bulb. Uh, I have one here. So uh, these don't matter which uh, rail they uh, solder into. So we are going to now feed this down through each of the holes. And I think I'll do one at a time. All right, so there's our, there's our wire coming through. So 
what I'm going to try and do is put just a dot of solder right on the hole versus doing it where they did so that the uh, I think the shoes will make better or well so that the shoes will compress better and like I said that front tire will hit the hopefully hit the the track let's get this right where we want it all right that looks good I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of flux now I don't want to hit the tire that's it all I wanted on there. No, nope, a little more. There we go. It's on there. It's a pretty small joint, too. It looks good. That looks great. All right. Let's see if it lights up. All right, Enzo, let's see if this works now. Enzo came down and joined me. Yep. There we go. Yep. We fixed this car. <laughs> so we can either uh, trade this car now, Enzo, or sell it. All right, let's do a chassis swap. First thing we got to do is pop off the rear axle. There we go. Pop up the front axle. There we go. Get our shoes off. There we go. Now I'm gonna open the, just pull the chassis. See, I just pulled it like that, and a whole bulkhead comes out, or motor assembly and all comes out. Be careful not to lose the springs on the brush tubes as well. We'll just take that little piece of plastic off there. <laughs> that just leaves the traction magnets in the rear, and those just kind of pop out. Like so. Right out the side. Take the one out. And we have the traction magnets on. So with everything out now, we're going to try and put the motor in as one unit. Pull the, the chassis to the side. And with any luck, everything will just line up and fall in. Alright, everything looks correct. We have the long end of the spring down. So that that will grab the shoe. I'm going to put the traction magnet in now. I'm just going to pull the body to the side and work its way in. I don't know if I'll be able to get this all on camera. There we go. And do the same for the other side. There we go. It looks good. That's like the hard part. I think I got everything in there square. Seems okay. You can put the rear uh, wheel back in. Gear goes on driver's side on the Tyco 440 cars. There we go. I'll then put the shoe in, hook the top, and then try and catch the bottom on the little arm here that's supposed to go on. It's hard to show on camera. That does it. I gotta go grab a, a, a pin for it because this one I'm not gonna use. We're gonna toss this in the trash now. Let's get it on the dyno. It's got so much power, it's moving the mesh with the, the stock on it, but uh, that's great. Gonna get this going on one of the cars. It's almost running 0.20 amps, which if I oil it and clean the com, I'm sure that will get even better. So this will be uh this is an awesome chassis that we have to make uh, some cool cars out of. So I hope you like this video. I'm gonna do some more of the repairs on my own. I think I might film some of it, but we'll see. Please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and keep having fun, everyone.